fellow Trek Chatters, I'm Pit Trekkie, and welcome to another episode of Pittsburgh's Trek Chat. Well, right now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to talk a little bit about the new Captain Picard TV series that's supposed to be coming out. Um, there's been some news on that front in the last week. Um, we got, first of all, we found out that the show looks like it's going to be um, starting production on April 14th. Um, those, those are just rumors from the internet, but that is what I've, we've, I've heard. Um, and last week we got the first casting news besides uh, Patrick Stewart. Um, so I'm really excited about this. We're finally getting some news about the series and it looks like it's finally coming you know, to uh, production. Um, the first actor who has been um, cast on the show is named Santiago Cabrera. Um, he's an English actor. Um, he's known for playing numerous different roles on TV series. Um, and in movies. Um, some of the TV series that he has been on include the BBC's The Musketeers, HBO's Big Little Lies, and the CBS TV series Salvation, which Alex Kurtman actually was, I believe, a producer on or creator as well. Um, some of the movie roles that he's been in is he's played in the movie Shay and uh, Transformers The Last Night. Now, this part is, is pretty much rumor that I've just seen floating around on the internet, so I don't know if how much of this is true, but I just wanted to add it in. But the rumor about his character is that he's going to be the pilot of Picard's ship. Um, he's also listed as a skillful thief. Okay, I think that's going to be pretty interesting, so we're going to bring in uh, a possible thief to be a part of his crew. I wonder why he would do that. I mean, knowing that he's worked with all these straight-laced Starfleet officers all these years, and now he's going to bring a thief in for a, a ship that he's on. Well, we'll see what happens. I'm, it's going to be kind of interesting. Um, the other uh, actor, actor or actress who was um, just announced, her name is Michelle Hurd. Um, she's been known for several uh, different roles on TV as well. Um, she played characters in such as Ash vs. Evil Dead, um, Daredevil, Jessica Jones. Um, she was in the first two seasons of Law & Order uh, Special Victims Unit, and she's been in six episodes of the current uh, Hawaii Five-0. Now, the rumor mill on her character is um, she's a former intelligence officer. She's a brilliant analyst with a terrific memory that has not been affected by her drug and alcohol abuse. So that's going to be another interesting character if this turns out to be true. we got a character who's an addict, or at least was an addict, that Picard picks to join the crew. So I think this kind of fits with both uh, Santiago Cabrera and Michelle Hurd's characters that have been discussed. I think it kind of fits. It sounds like there's some sort of, the way it's, the internet is rumoring this show to kind of be is, there's probably going to be some sort of archaeological thing that's involved or some sort of uh, a mission to find some sort of artifact. And so Picard kind of brings these people together on a ship to go and explore and uh, get whatever artifact he's looking for. So that's one rumor that's, that's going on. And it sounds like there might be a little bit of truth to this, because from what I'm seeing here, I don't know if these, these two are actually Starfleet officers. It doesn't sound like it. I could be wrong. You never know. Okay. Um, so, and at this point, there are really no plot points for the show. Um, just that it's going to be um, starting up here very soon. So right now we just have a whole bunch of rumor going on about everything. Um, but just the fact that we got casting for the first for the first two characters besides Captain Picard is very exciting. We're finally seeing this project moving forward. Now if we can just get a title, um, there, it's rumored to be called Star Trek Destiny. Um, a lot of fans aren't really happy about that because Pocket Books came out with a really great Star Trek trilogy about 10 years ago called Star Trek Destiny. Um, if you have not read the trilogy, read it, read it, read it. It is one of the best Star Trek trilogies I've ever re read. I mean, that's some of the best Star Trek books I've ever read. Um, it takes a little bit of time to read, but they're real page turners. And it's a very emotional um, trilogy, but you'll love it. Seek it out. Um, so that's pretty much it right now for the, the Picard series. There's not really more news going on. Um, the only really other thing is that they've been talking about this episodes are going to be kind of mini-series-like. Um, instead of like episodics, it's going to feel like, like ten, a 10-episode ten TV movie. Um, I don't know if they're going to do that with just one season or if that's the way all the seasons are going to be. And I think there's a lot of talk about the show is going to last at least three seasons. Um, so otherwise, that's pretty much all we know. Um, but... My final thoughts on this, I am so excited that Captain Picard is coming back onto TV. He was my favorite captain growing up. Um, you know, he's special to me. The next generation is very special to me. To see, see Picard coming back is a wonderful thing. I'm very interested to see what kind of ship and crew he's going to have. It sounds like it's going to be a lot different than what he had on the Enterprise in the next gen and in the movies. Um, so what are your thoughts on the, show, on, uh, the Captain Picard uh, news? 
Um, are you excited about it? Are you not feeling this series? Are you unhappy with the casting so far? Um, I just want to know general thoughts. Um, please put them in the comments below. Um, I would love for you to add more subscriptions to the channel. Please hit that subscribe button so you can join, watch the show and know it's coming. Um, hit the little bell that's down so you can get notification of when new episodes are coming out. Um, you can follow the show, obviously, on YouTube. Just type in Pittsburgh's Track Chat. It'll take you right to my channel. Um, you can also follow the show on Facebook at facebook.com slash Pittsburgh's Track Chat. And you can also follow on Twitter at PGH Track Chat. I'm looking forward to the next episode. And until then, may you live long and prosper.